Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's your host, Louis Ruffin, Christian Care Ministries. Thank God, thank God for you, you, and you. 588 episodes. Amen. We thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God for Waycross Community Media. Yes, God is so good. I can't tell you, I can't explain to you how good God is. It's beyond my mental capacity to let you know how great God is. Yeah. Miserable, undone, wretched. This is the lay of the scene uh, classification. Yeah. And sometimes we're caught up. And what we have no business doing or saying, amen. We're talking today about friend indeed. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Have we trials and temptations? Yes. Is there trouble anywhere? Yes. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Yes. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Yeah, yes we do. Yes we do. By the things that we do, the things that we say, we want to make sure that from time to time we apologize. Ask the Lord to forgive us. And ask all those that think hmm, that we did something wrong to apologize one more time. Amen. Amen. I remember years ago, uh, I was called into the office of uh, Pastor Jasper Phillips. I've used this illustration before. And he was telling me, he says, uh, Elder Ruffin, I was elder a long time. Elder Ruffin? I want you to do something for me. He said, all right. He said, the scripture teaches suffer wrong. Suffer wrong. So I want you to suffer this. I know that it was not your fault and all of this, but I want you just to suffer wrong. Amen. And so sometimes we have to suffer wrong. Yeah. Yeah. We was wrong and we got to suffer wrong. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. We glorify you. We thank you because you're God and beside thee there is none other. Forgive us for all of our sins and transgressions. Thank you, Lord, that your word declares that you'll forget all of our sins, blot them out and not remember them, not bring them to our remembrance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heal those that are sick, whether it's physical or mental, amen, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and how you're going to do it. And we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor in Jesus' name, amen and Amen. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Joseph Shreven and Charles Converse are responsible for the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. <laughs> My mother Joe, my brother Joe and I <laughs> fought at times growing up. When we grew older, we realized how stupid and ignorant we were. What are a couple things that we fought about? Hmm. Who got the most potato chips out of the same bag? Who drank the most pop out of the same bottle? I remember the one time I had Joe on the ground and 
our dad came out of the house to separate us. Yeah, Joe and I became closer as we got older and were inseparable. My brother Joe was diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenia as long as he took his medicine. Hmm. As long as he took his medicine, he was safe to be around. Joe finally realized hmm, he needed his medicine. It cost Joe his family, jobs, and friends in the learning process of life. No matter what you go through, you need a friend indeed. Yeah, a friend indeed. Indeed means stronger. A friend that sticks closer than a brother. Jehoshaphat asked God a question. Are you not our God? And gave this land to the descendants of Abraham, your friend, forever. Abraham and Lot separated due to strife. Yeah, yeah, due to strife. Mm -hmm. Strife will separate you, yeah. No matter whose fault it is and no matter what it was about, strife will separate you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it takes God to put you back together again. Mm -hmm. So Jehoshaphat hmm, asked God a question. Yeah. Are you not our God and gave this land to the descendants of Abraham, your friend, forever? Hmm. I've lost... I've lost some good friends, some good people. Mm. The season was over. Abraham and Lot separated due to strife. Abraham told Lot, let there be no strife. Shouldn't that be what it ought to be? Let there be no strife. But choose where you want to dwell. Lot chose evil. God spoke to Abraham for the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. It's a blessing when family and friends separate from you because they don't know the value of friendship. Friendship is mutual love and no fighting. Let me put that in a sentence again. Yeah, friendship is mutual love and no fighting. Many years ago, a friend of mine was telling me about the church his dad built. I complimented him. He said, my dad built this church with the wrong motive. His dad had an anger spirit and couldn't get along with people. <laughs> friend indeed means make sure your motive is right. Walk in the light, not in anger and darkness. If we walk in the light as Jesus is in the light, we will have fellowship or friendship one with another. And the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all sin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the blood of Jesus washes us, cleanses sanctifies and keeps us from all evil. There is a fountain filled with blood that's drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my, my, my. Mm, mm, mm. Let the Lord omnipotent reign. Fear not, for I am with you. Mm hmm Yes, I'm with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Yeah, we're talking about a friend indeed. We're talking about Jesus Christ. 
It's no better, friend. Yeah. Invisible, hmm, but felt on the inside. Yeah. In your mind. Yeah. You can bombard the enemy with the word of God. Amen. With the written word of God. And let the word of God, amen, be a batting ram against the tactics of the enemy. The book of Acts alerts us to who the Lord is by identification form. Yeah. Identification from heaven. Yeah. Acts 9 5 records, Who are you, Lord? It's important for us to know who our friend is. He is somebody, yeah. He is somebody that we are to praise and give him glory, yes. When we look at the book of Psalms, David wrote many of these Psalms. We look at some of these uh, division of Psalms that discuss praise. When you have a friend indeed, ha, glory, like Jesus, yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You want to praise him. You want to give him the glory. You want to give him the honor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A real friend is easy to say, I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the good times and in the bad times, I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry to be accepted. Forgive me to be accepted. In the book of Ephesians 4.32, to be kind-hearted. To be gentle, to be forgiving, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. It's all about moving forward. Remember, Abraham and Lot, they had different motives. Abraham wanted to please God, Lot wanted to please his flesh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's no way to reconcile, amen, because Lot was counted righteous because of the prayers of Abraham. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that something? This is why we've got to pray one for another. Communicate to God our best friend, our true friend, our forever friend, talking about Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave. Yes, he did. Yeah, he gave. Sure enough, gave. Sure enough, gave. Yes, he did. Mm -mm -mm. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. I praise the Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because you've always been there. Hasn't he always been there? Mm-hmm. He's done so much for us. Yes, he has. Mm-hmm. Don't know what I would do without him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a mighty God. Yes, he is. He's a mighty God. Mm. He's a wonderful God. That's why we ought to praise him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Psalm 148, verse number 12. Both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth. And heaven. What a friend indeed. He's got all power. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's a mighty God. Talking about Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The praise of all his saints. Yeah. Praise him. Open your mouth and praise him. I think about Bishop Gaynor uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. How he spoke to us at the open house dedication of Total Restoration Ministries. And he said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise about your friend. And there's no better friend than Jesus. Huh? Jesus is the image of God. Yeah. Jesus is the personality of God. When you see Jesus by faith, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your spiritual eyes, mm-hmm. You know he's God alone. Hey, because the word was made flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make your friendship visible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A friend forever. That's Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
My goodness. Mm, praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. For his name alone is excellent. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Amen. His glory is above the earth and heaven. It's above. It's above. It's above. It's beyond. We can't comprehend the glory of God. Hmm. He also exalts the horn of his people, the strength of his people. The Lord gives us strength. We didn't know we could make it. We didn't know we could do it. But it was God's strength that came to our rescue. We were helpless without him. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Yeah. The praise of his saints. Yes. Yes. Even of the children of Israel. It's the same God. Yeah. Jehovah is Jesus. Yes. The God of the Old Testament is Jesus of the New Testament. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only one true God, and his name is Jesus. A people near unto him, praise the Lord, all of us, Jew and Gentile, all nations, for God so loved the world that he gave. Yeah. We're talking about a friend that gave himself. Amen. A comforter, a paraclete. A helper, yeah. Mm -hmm. He came in talking, speaking out of you to give you an indication, a sign, a determination that he is there. Oh, glory for you. Bless your name. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Oh, we can't thank him enough. No, we can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He's done so much for us. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, his name, his name. Who are you, Lord? Who are you? Mm hmm Then the Lord says, I am Jesus. Jesus knows he is Lord. You can't intimidate him. No, you can't. Mm -mm. No, you can't. <laughs> no. He does his own will. He's sovereign. Amen. He don't have to ask you permission. Amen. He does what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. Amen. We are at uh, his mercy, and his liberty, and his grace. Thank you, Jesus. A friend indeed. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mm. Moses had an encounter with the Lord in Exodus 3.14. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. You can't change him. I can't change him. Nobody can change him. Mm. He's always the same. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. The knowledge of who God is evolves through the Bible. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is one Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord appeared to Abram and says to him, I am almighty God. Mm. Abram had a name change from Abram to Abraham. Things change when you interact with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're all we're guilty. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of us are as filthy rags. None of us are not guilty. We're all guilty. But thank God we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We've been cleansed by Jesus Christ. We've been washed thoroughly from all iniquity, shame, trespasses, and sin, and reproaches, and offenses through the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He's our friend indeed. His wonder-working power of blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he gave us a keeper on the inside. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about his spirit. He came on the inside. Yes, he did. Glory. Mm -hmm. And he's walking and talking with you and me. Mm -hmm. Let's give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise him. Yeah. The scripture reads, let everything mm -hmm, that has breath praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. It means every instrument. Your voice, clapping your hands, stomping your feet. Oh, yeah. Making a joyful noise. Uh, as that bishop declared, you can't say what you're feeling, but you just moan. Mm -hmm. Whoa. You make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's so bad, I can't say it, but I can mourn. Yes, glory. Give God glory. He's worthy of our praise. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's worthy of our praise. There ain't nobody, nobody, nobody like him. <laughs> oh, don't you love him? Yeah, yeah. Surely you love God. Amen. Yeah. Above all things, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. The Apostle Paul writes, Therefore, from now on, mm, we regard no one according to the flesh. My, my, my. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. That's right. The word was made flesh. Oh, I wish you could have been at Bible study. Yes. Total Restoration Ministries, 235 Ross Avenue, Hamilton, Ohio. Let me repeat that. Total Restoration Ministry. Yeah, Bishop Damon White, First Lady Salome White, 235 Ross, Total Restoration Ministries, right there in Hamilton, Ohio, in the historical uh, village of Rossville there. Yeah, right on the corner, yeah. Mm hmm of uh, Ross, indeed. Mm hmm yeah, mm hmm yeah. You are to make an effort to get there to hear the word like you've never heard the word before. And Bishop White was breaking down, amen, the word was made flesh. You know that chapter, because we're talking about a, a, a friend indeed, and that would be Jesus who clothed himself, the invisible word, he clothed himself, yes he did, in flesh, yeah. Ain't that something? He limited himself in flesh. Yeah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yeah. You can't see the Word. Mm -hmm. You have to write it down. Yeah, like my notes here. Amen. So you can see it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you see it, amen, uh, to see it by faith. Amen. Not naturally speaking, but spiritually speaking, that the word was made flesh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like this. Let me uh, read these two verses to you in St. John chapter 1 and think about this friend indeed. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yeah. Yeah. Let that sink in for a minute. Verse number 2. The same was in the beginning with God. The same word, the same God, all the same. No distinctions, no difference. One God in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. The same word and the same God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you will... Let's go down to verse number 14, St. John 1. We're talking about a friend indeed. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. And the word was made flesh. God was made flesh. Get it? <laughs> yes. He was made flesh. He made himself flesh. He became a seed, an incorruptible seed, and got inside of Mary. Yes, he did. And in the fullness of time, God brought forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Yes! Mm -hmm. Praise God for a friend indeed, amen, that will sacrifice himself, that will subject himself to natural laws because he's a friend forever. He's a friend indeed. I'm talking about you. He didn't desert us when things got bad, when things got terrible. Oh, no, oh, no, mm-mm. 
You remember, according to the Bible, in the days of Noah, Noah found grace. Thank God, thank God for grace. He's a friend indeed. That's what we need, grace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not punishment, not vengeance, but what we need is grace. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. We could see the glory of God through the face of Jesus Christ, the Word that was made flesh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of what? Grace and truth. Let grace reign in righteousness. Grace is not an excuse to sin. But grace is a reason to give God praise, give God glory, to thank God for the great thing that is done. We should have been dead, buried and gone, but God's grace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember so many years ago, praise the Lord, when I was uh, heading down to Little Rock, Arkansas in a caddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be nice somebody would give me a caddy, yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't driving. My ex-wife was driving. And I was sitting in the back holding one of the children. I forget which one it was at this point. It's been a long time ago. And so uh, we were going down the highway, and we crossed the median, and we crossed the other part of the highway, amen. And then we went down a 40-foot embankment. It's nothing but the goodness of God. Nothing but the grace of God. We didn't deserve it, <laughs> but God brought us out. Now, there were several of us in the car. Amen. Uh, my ex-pastor, Pastor Lenore Jenkins, Oxford, Ohio. Uh, she's gone on now. Amen. Uh, and sister-in-law, uh, Aunt Julia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, a little woman, but mighty powerful. Yeah. Love the Lord. Yes. Yes. So but anyway, we were down there in this embankment, this 40-foot embankment. Amen. And uh, I must have dozed off to sleep. We had just had breakfast somewhere, and uh, Charlotte well, I was driving, and uh, that's about all I remember. So I had to climb up this embankment, and I had my daughter by the hand, and when I got up on top of the mountain, there was a, a, a woman that had pulled over. I'm talking about God's grace. Hmm. She pulled over, yes she did. She said, sir, I'll hold your daughter's hand while you go back down to help those. I said, oh, thank you. Mm. And about this time, uh, a highway patrol officer appeared on the scene. Mm. Yes, he did. Mm. And I noticed at that time they were concerned about the people that were still in the car and was talking, uh, the highway patrol was talking to uh, someone on the CB. So, you know, that's been, you know, that's been a minute. Mm -hmm. And say, well, uh, I think we got a, a, a Cadillac that wanted to fly. Do you know how good God is? We landed right between some trees. We didn't hit the trees. We landed right beside them. Mm, mm, mm. Glory to God. I'm telling you, Jesus is a friend indeed. There's nobody like the Lord. 